This one says, calculate the change in internal energy for a system that is giving off 25.0 kilojoules of heat and changing from 12.00 liters to 6.00 liters in volume at 1.50 atm of pressure. Okay, so let's write down the things that it gives us in the problem. So it says that it's giving off 25 kilojoules of heat. So heat is Q. If it's releasing 25, what's the um, sign of that? Negative, right? It's going to be negative 25.0 kilojoules. Um, and it gives us the initial volume as 12.00 liters. And the final volume, 6.00 liters. So we can calculate our change in volume if we wanted to, right? Which is VF minus VI, or 6.00 liters minus 12.00 liters equals negative 6.00 meters. Okay? So this means it's decreasing in size by 6 liters. Um, it also gives us the um, external pressure. So P, E, X, T is 1.50 TM. <coughs> okay, so you can go about this a couple of ways. Let's write down the, the equations. So change in internal energy equals Q plus W. And remember, for chemistry, it's Q plus W PV. That PV is the pressure uh, volume uh, equation. So remember that um, W PV equals negative P external times the change in volume of the system. Is everybody okay with that? Do you recall? So when we do this, we've got P external being 1.50 atm. And we've also got our change in volume as negative 6.00 liters. Um, so 9.00 uh, liter ATM. So we're looking for energy units here. Remember, liter ATM are energy units, but we want to convert them to a more manageable unit. And since the other are in kilojoules, we're probably going to put the whole problem into kilojoules. Okay, so let's do that. So they give us uh, the conversion. This is the conversion that you won't have to remember. Okay. So uh, one liter ATM equals 101.3 joules. So liters cancel, ATMs cancel. But we want to get it into kilojoules, so let's just do that right now. <coughs> Okay, so in this case we've got 0 0.912 uh, kilojoules. So if we were looking at uh, the change in energy here, it's going to be Q plus W. Right, so, so this is W, this is Q here, so negative 25.0 kilojoules plus 0 0.912 kilojoules. So 
so. I got negative 24.1 kilojoules for the change in internal energy. Okay. Are there any questions on that one? Does it make sense to you, at least? Yep. Yep.